Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Reagan, if you are new here. So today we're going to be comparing the Ilia True Skin Serum Foundation. I have shade Formentera SF to the Ilia Super Serum Skin Tint SPF 40, and then I have shade Rendezvous in this. This is ST1. So they both are a little bit different. I'll show you guys, apply them together, and then I am going to do check-ins um, throughout the day, just so you guys can see how they both wear. So I have the foundation on this side, and then I have the skin tint on this side. And then I also have the new Drawn In Nightlight Bronzing Powder, and the daylight highlighting powder. So I'll be using those as well. I'm wearing them on my face right now and I'll talk about them. And yeah, we're just going to do a whole day wear test of everything and I'll do a couple check-ins. I also wanted to add just before we get rolling with putting everything on that I'm not going to do a Memorial Day sales video. I'm going to do an article. So have that linked down below. Um, I just wasn't planning on doing a video about it. So if you're curious, that's where that information will be. So yeah, guys, let's just roll in and start. So normally I don't use primer, but I have found with the Ilia foundation, their serum foundation, that the primer does really help to prep the skin. So I just have a little sample of this. This is their True Skin Radiant Priming Serum. I got this, I think, in like a Sephora Clean Beauty Box deal. And I actually have liked this primer because it's very interesting. It is a serum. So I don't have tons of this left, so I'm just going to show you on my hand instead of doing a close-up because usually when I do a close-up, it's like I put this on my face, right? And then after I'm done filming, I do the close-ups. So then I have to use more product. I really don't have that much of it left and it's kind of pricey. So I'm just gonna tell you about it here. It is more of a jelly base and it has little flux of gold in it. I haven't found that that really reflects very well on the skin, but the thing that's interesting about it is when you apply it to your face, it goes on really jelly-like, like a serum. But then as it dries, it becomes kind of like sticky. So it just preps the skin very, very nicely for the foundation. And I haven't loved this foundation, but I've liked it a lot more with this um, serum primer stuff. So first I am going to use, I have the Ilia True Skin Serum Concealer. I've loved this. I have this in shade Arrowroot. Just done some blemishes and discoloration. Um, have some of those right now. And I do have dark circles under my eyes. So it's always fun. Alrighty guys, so I do like that concealer. I think it's a really good one. It's more of a satin finish, but it has pretty good I wouldn't say full, I would say like medium full coverage to it. So it is one that I have really liked. Okay, now we're just gonna split this face in half. I mean, not physically, but you know, kind of metaphorically. So this half of my face, I'm going to use the True Skin Serum Foundation. And then this half of the face, I'm going to use the Skin Tint. So I know that this is going to be a little bit fuller coverage. We're not going out and seeing anyone. So it doesn't really matter. I'm just going to shake this up a little bit. And this does have a pump to it. And then it is, it's, it's runny, but it is a little bit thick as well. And it's kind of oily just in how it's going on. So again, I haven't loved this foundation. It hasn't been a favorite of mine. I know tons of people who do, but I do like it a lot more with that primer. I just think that something about that primer really kind of spackles it to your face or something. So yeah. Okay. So it is a little bit illuminating and yeah, um, I think it has, I would not say this has very full coverage to it. I think it's medium. I would even teeter to say it's like light medium because I can still see some things. Medium is accurate because I'm just looking. It does kind of blur pores and stuff like that, but it's definitely not like a full coverage foundation. I wouldn't even, it's not medium full or anything. Again, you get the blurring effect, but I feel like I'm getting more coverage from the concealer than from like the foundation itself, but the blurring effect comes from the foundation. So I'm just going to go rinse my hands off so I can do the other side so I'm not like cross contaminating. All right, and now I'm going to use the Ilia Super Serum Skin Tint. This has SPF 40 in it. So I'm really shaking this well to 
blend the SPF in with the oil and the foundation. That's pretty important. I always am wearing an SPF under everything. So part of my skincare routine is using an SPF, but if it has SPF in it, I still want those benefits, even if it's only on half of my face. I know that's weird, but you know. So this does have a dropper container. So I'm just going to take a couple drops of this. I did three and blend it in with my fingers. This is a little bit lighter of a shade. It's very, very pale. The other one um, from the Super Skin Tint is a little bit more yellow in tone. I can really blend them both out though because I can make this work. I don't think it looks too yellow, but the skin tint's a little bit more accurate, I think, of a tone for me. So just looking at these two compared side by side, I feel like the foundation definitely has a little bit fuller of coverage. Like the skin tint has a very, very light coverage. It has a little bit of a blurring effect to it. Um, but something that's kind of interesting, I thought that the skin tint would be a little bit more illuminating, but I feel like I get more illumination from the foundation than from the skin tint. So let me know your thoughts. If you've tried both or if you have both, I'm just kind of curious if that's a similar concept. A lot more coverage on the foundation side than on the skin tint side. I knew that was going to be like that. I mean, you know, it's the difference between a foundation and a skin tint, duh. But yeah, this is just comparing both sides without putting any powder setting it or anything. So kind of interesting. I Tone-wise, it's weird. They're different because again, this one is a little bit more yellow in undertone and this one just isn't. I feel like it's like more pinky, but they look okay, both of them. Like when I turn to this side, I'm like, oh, that looks fine. But when I turn to this side, I'm like, that looks fine too. So I'm just gonna kind of blend down the middle. So just so I don't look crazy. And then I'm just using some setting powder to set everything. And I'm just going to continue doing the rest of my makeup. It's kind of interesting. The skin tint is really, I have a little bit more texture on this side, but I do have some on this side as well. It's really clinging to those textured areas. It doesn't look that flattering in real life. And I have actually really liked the skin tint. So maybe it's just like a phase my skin's going through, but I'm just noticing that after putting the powder on. So I'm gonna do my brows. I'm just gonna use some clear brow gel. All right, so I'm just going to use the bronzer now. I really have liked this bronzer. Uh, I used it all last week for Top Shelf Tuesday. It's a little bit warm in tone. It definitely is not like a super cool bronzer, but I have liked it. It's like if I was tan, this is how I imagined I'd look. And I like this because I can use it as a contour. It has a little bit, and I mean like a tiny microscopic amount of like illuminating particles in it, but it's not like a super glowy bronzer when it goes on your skin. I use this as a contour because that's just, I think, how it would work best. And that's how I want to be using it. Um, yeah, but I have liked this. I think it blends out very, very nicely. It's very buttery. Okay, something very important to remember with me and bronzers, I'm very, very pale. This does work for me. Um, I'm a little bit light-handed with it. I'm not like really going in there. I think it would also work for people who have a, are a little bit darker than me. They do have two shades of this bronzer, so it's not like an amazing extensive <laughs> range of a bronzer. And probably if they came out with a lighter one and then also a deeper one, um, I'm not saying it'd be perfect, but I think it would just cover more skin tones in general. And I think I would probably like the lighter one a little bit more. I still really like this. I like the formulation. I can blend it out and make it look good and work with it. And I'm willing to work with it because I get the look I like with it. Um, and I do like that it's more matte than illuminating because I'm not someone who's trying to go for that like bronze glowy goddess look because it's just, I'm pale. It's not happening for me. I'm just realistic about it with myself. So I do like the bronzer. Um, yeah, I think it's a good one. And the highlight is a little bit newer to me because I just opened it this week. So I decided to split them up and put them in Top Shelf Tuesday for different weeks, which is a series I do on here. It's kind of like a continuous shot my stash. But I'm just going to use this on here. I do think it's a very pretty highlight. It's definitely not too deep for my skin tone, which I kind of thought it might be, but it's nice and illuminating. 
And I think they have two shades of this. One's like a little bit more pinky and icy like this one. And then the other one is a little bit more golden and shimmery. You also get a pretty nice big pan, by the way, like just comparing to like my eyes and stuff, it is a big pan. Same with the bronzer too. The thing that's interesting about this, when you look at it, it looks icy, but it does have a little bit more gold undertones with the reflective shimmer. So that's just a thought if you don't like that. I think it's okay, like it definitely isn't too overpowering, um, but there is a little bit of gold in there, just so you know, it's like kind of a icy gold. So I'm just going to finish out the rest of this look and then we will chat, so one second. All right, so clearly that's the camera I film with, so I'm just using my phone. Um, yeah, so my lipstick's totally worn off, but that's not even what we're talking about today. Okay, I really do think that the foundation's wearing really nicely. If you can see that luminosity, I didn't put the highlight like, you know, in a weird diangle. Diangle. Did I, did I say that? It's, my mind is everywhere. But I didn't put the highlight like this. I mean, I put it right up here. So that is, you know, a little bit more luminous. Yeah, I can really see kind of the difference in the tones of those. Like when I look at this side, I just look much paler and the coverage um, is much less. So yeah, I actually think that they're both wearing pretty nicely though, for the most part. So this is about what time? This is like five hours later. So I'll do another check-in probably before I take my makeup off. But yeah, just wanted to show you guys how it's wearing. Thus Alrighty far. guys, so I brought my mirror um, because I'm about to take off my makeup. It's seven hours from when I initially applied. So I figured that's a good enough wear test. Um, just kind of getting closer to the window. Yeah, it's really sunny late. It's like, what time is it? Almost seven? What? Honestly, both sides wore pretty darn well. That highlight wore really well. Um, bronzer, bronzer kind of, it's still there a little bit. It's a little bit dry on the skin tint side, kind of where my pores are here. That's the only thing I'm really noticing, but I actually really have liked how these wore down. I'm actually pretty impressed with the foundation. I might give that another go in Top Shelf Tuesday next week, just because I am impressed with it a lot more. So maybe my skin's changed since I initially tried it. And also I do really like it without primer. So yeah, guys, um, overall, I definitely think the biggest difference is you can see a lot more of my texture and stuff with the skin tint because it's more of a tint than a foundation. So the foundation does cover a lot more and blurs a lot more. So yeah, I do still like both. I just think they're for different things. And because I do have a little bit of kind of blemishes and stuff right now, I probably wouldn't, or it's not even that I wouldn't use the skin tint. I would just maybe use a really thicker, heavier concealer. So yeah. Anyways, all thank you all so much for stopping by the channel. I hope you enjoyed this video and have a wonderful, wonderful day or evening wherever you are in the world.